Happy World Book Day! I hope you're having a great time. Welcome along to the latest Draw a Longer Lenten. Um, yes, hope you're having a great day. I hope you are sharing a story. If you go to the World Book Day website, you must register and you must share a story. If someone reads you a story or if you read a story to somebody, we need to get that readometer up to over a million if we can. So good luck with that. I hope you're having a fantastic time. If you're dressing up or not dressing up, just have fun with stories. Now, speaking of stories, I'm going to show you a little sneak preview of this. Now, three people in the world have got a copy of this so far. Well, five or six if you include the publisher and me and Peter Bentley, who wrote this wonderful story. Shocktopus, octopus, octopus, shocktopus, rather. And it's got a neon, it's on new picture books out in July. And I'm going to share a little bit before we draw Slippery Sam. I'm going to read you the first page from Octopus, Shocktopus. So I'm sharing my story. So I'm going to go on the readometer as I'm going to share this little story with you. A little tiny section anyway. <gasps> and there's a giant octopus on a house. What? One day we found an octopus had come to live on top of us. Our neighbour, Mrs Antrobrus, said... I don't like that octopus. An octopus just looks all wrong. An octopus does not belong. Well, Mrs. Antipas is a bit moody, isn't she? She went and called the fire brigade. They couldn't shift it, so it stayed. <gasps> and then you'll have to find out in July what happens next. So there you go. Octopus, shocktopus, not shocktopus, octopus. And now we're going to draw slippery samtopus. So, World Book Day Slippery Sam, here we go. We are going to draw Slippery Sam in his chef outfit so he matches our Shifty McGifty uh, in the last video. So, here we go. We're going to draw, like we did with Shifty, we're going to draw the hat, which is two lines, one like that, one like that. And then remember we did that cloudy shape, cloudier Winkleman, cloudier Sheffer. A cloud. Basically a cloud. There we go. Now, do you remember again with Shifty we drew the top? Whoops, my charcoal pencil, my pastel pencil has snapped slightly. That's fine. We like a bit of a mistake. We like a bit of live telly. Uh, <laughs> this isn't pre-recorded, of course. Now, next we are going to draw his little ears. He only has little ears. One that side. And one that side, like that. Two little curved shapes. Two little arcs. There we go. Now we're going to draw his body all the way down to about here. Okay. So his body comes down and round to about there. And down and round to about there. Okay. Then what we need to do is draw his face. Now, Slippery Sam's face is all made out of really basic shapes. And I'd like you to start in the middle with his nose, which is a little triangle. And it goes like that, a little triangle. And when you've drawn that, you can colour it in. There you go. Now, he's got two eyes, of course. He's got one this side, like that, and one this side, like that. I always think when I do my events with Trace at this moment when we're drawing Slippery Sam, he looks like a, a haunted owl or a zombie owl at this point with a chef's hat on. So let's draw his pupils in the centre. One there. And one there. There we go. And he needs two little eyebrows as well, which are just two little lines, one above each eye, like that. Then he's got a little smile and a little snout. So draw a little line coming down and draw his little smile coming out like that. And then he's got three little freckles. One, two, three, that side. And one, two, three, the other side. Now Slippery Sam also has got an eye patch around one eye. So draw a circle around his left eye, but it looks like it's the right eye to us, but it's on his left eye. Now we're going to carry on doing his chef uniform. Now he's got a little neckerchief and his neckerchief is a little circle like that. 
and then draw a line from that to the edge of his face there and same this side to the edge of his face and then draw another line coming out like this to the edge and then same this side out ways like that and then draw two little squiggly lines for the tie that ties up his little neckerchief like that two little funny shapes looks like a bit like a little moustache really then we're going to draw a line along the base of his chef outfit like that and we're going to give some detail to his chef outfit so he has a pocket on the front where he puts all his culinary items like wooden spoons flour i think he might hide the odd cake in there as well so draw a line along the middle of his tummy and then do another semicircular shape up like that. Now he's really taking shape, isn't he? Let's give him some arms and hands so we can start baking. So one arm we're going to do like this, a line up. And the same but underneath, another line up. And then join them together like that and then we're going to draw his paw now remember an easy way to draw a paw is draw a circle or a semicircle at the end of a sleeve and then we just need to add four little paws uh, four little um oh what's they called <laughs> yeah, they are paws aren't they his little little doggy fingers his paws so we're going to draw one it's a bit like a flower one two three and four around his hand. Then also we're going to add a bit more detail to his sleeve, a line and a little button on his sleeve. Oh, now that reminds me saying the word button. He's got buttons that do up his nice uniform as well. So draw a line, that's where both sides of his uniform meet. And we're going to draw three more little buttons down the side, one, just little circles, two, and you guessed it, three. There we are. Tra la la. Okay, so this side we're going to do the same. We're going to draw an, a line coming up and another line coming up. And remember what we did on that side. We drew a line. We can add the detail now if you like. So there's his cuff and his button. And then a semicircle at the end of his sleeve. And those four petals that make his paw one, two, three, and a four. And a paw, two paws. Now, something else I've mentioned as well, if you want to make someone look like they're waving or something's moving, do two little action lines either side. So it looks like saying, hello, happy World Book Day, everyone. Make sure you're sharing a story. Okay, now we just need to finish him off by drawing another little curve line underneath his um, top like that, which is the base of his tummy. And then he's just got little legs. So we're gonna draw a line down from the middle and then a curvy line round, but not touching that middle line. Then another line coming round. And then all he needs is two little feet. So you just need to do two more little curvy lines, one that side and one that side. And then all that's left to do is join all this up. So what I would do is draw a line along the bottom to join his feet up. And then if you've got a gap like I have, just bring that down. And to make it look more like dog feet, draw two little lines on his feet. And there is our little Slippery Sam World Book Day Special Edition. So I hope you got on okay drawing Slippery Sam and you enjoyed that. Um, there'll be more characters coming up soon on the next Draw Along a Lenten. And in the meantime, don't forget to share that story for World Book Day and have a great time.